MLB The Show 24 is basically here and I'm gonna catch you up to speed on everything new that's coming to the game. I'll even put chapters down below so you guys can skip to the parts that you care about the most, whether that's Diamond Dynasty, Road to the Show, or Franchise. And guys, make sure you join the team, hit that subscribe button because at 100,000 subs, we're gonna be doing giveaways for PS5s, Xboxes, stub codes. We're gonna be giving away everything. All you gotta do is hit one button. Now, I know this is kind of boring, but I just wanna make sure you guys know the actual release date is March 19th, but if you pre-order the game, now let me clarify, if you pre order the MVP edition, the digital deluxe, or the NGL version, the NGL also comes with a cap, you're going to get early access. So if you get the standard edition for $70, that does not include early access. Be aware. If you want to play early, you got to pay extra. And yes, for all of my Xbox people, MLB The Show 24 will be on Game Pass, but like I mentioned with the standard edition, you can't play early. So you got to wait until March 19th. So because I'm a big Diamond Dynasty guy, I'm going to talk about that first. And the first thing I want to bring up is the fact that player facial scans have improved dramatically. The lighting of the skin is infinitely better. The eyes don't look lifeless. I'm a big fan of this change. Looking at Jazz Chisholm Jr. from 23 to 24, it's night and day. Look at J-Ram. I mean, J-Ram, who even was that guy in 23? This looks way better. We have nearly 400 new animations to help out quickness and logic for every defender in MLB The Show 24. And I got to show all all of the animation changes because even bronze defenders in the outfield now have urgency and this almost makes me emotional. Bad animations in MLB The Show are a lot like bad CGI in a film. It takes you out and that's what a bad animation does for me when I'm playing the game. I'm almost like, why did that just happen? Players in real life do not do that. And the best examples I can give is when you're an outfielder and you catch a ball at the track, you sprint into the wall, you hug the wall. It takes five years to get the ball in and then someone can score from second. Or even if you're facing a guy like me, someone who likes to use a lot of speedy guys, I can go from second to home on an infield single to first base because the first baseman took eight years to throw the ball. Well, we have brand new animations, brand new logic, and that makes me very happy. Also, the brand new pickoff rules and bigger bases will be in Diamond Dynasty. So hopefully stealing bases is going to be a little bit easier because we all know that stealing has been a little bit broken over the last few years. Not a little bit. It's broken for sure. Now, I don't know if they recorded this with a potato or a Nintendo DS, but we have 30 brand new stadium templates coming to Created Stadium. And again, it looks very choppy. I think they accidentally uploaded it in 30 FPS. It's not going to look this bad, but hey, any new stadium template, I'm cool with. The fact that I don't have to do any work, yes, please. So the biggest change in MLB The Show 23 was the fact that they introduced sets and sets are going away in MLB The Show 24, but not really. They're being replaced by a thing called seasons, which we had last year, but it's a different approach. So every season in MLB The Show 24 is going to emphasize a power creep. And I've seen a lot of people saying, Fuzzy, what's a power creep? In simple terms, we're going to be starting off with low tier diamonds. And by the end of a season, we're finally going to be able to unlock multiple 99s. So it's going to be like the MLB The Show 16 to 22 days. Every single season is going to be three months long. And again, you start off with diamonds and you work towards a God Squad. So once season two comes around, yes, all of your season one cards do expire but I just want to remind you guys the power creep will still be back in season two so you're getting a essential re-release of the game where you start from scratch and you're going to have the ability to acquire four wild cards so in MLB The Show 23 it sucked when you had cards expire because you only had one wild card well in MLB The Show 24 you will now be able to unlock four wild card spots through the XP reward pass so if you want to use cards from a prior season play the game and you can unlock them fairly easily now team affinity is coming back but we're going to have chapters of team affinity so for example chapter one is going to be at launch chapter two is going to be in mid-april and then chapter three is going to be sometime in may so you can unlock cards like 89 brian dozier who's a brand new flashback player and again this is how every single season is going to be you're going to start off with low tier diamonds and team affinity and most likely power creep to 99s or 97s in the final team affinity hopefully it's 99s and that they learn from mlb the show 23 no one wants to grind for stupid 97s that no one's going to use core cards are back obviously every single live series card is going to be a core card but there's going to be a special core collection and core cards like the 89 overall vladi collection card right when you hop onto the game captain cards are back as well but there's a brand new series called the cornerstone series and at the beginning of every single season you get to choose one of the four and the greg maddox captain card by the way is the first ever captain that will boost not only pitchers but hitters as well so they're trying new things this is a very small change but this makes me so happy headliners are back as well there's also a brand new pack called millionaire pack i have no idea what that is but hey that's new 
new. And guys, one more big update. This happened as I was editing. We saw this in a live stream where the devs are facing up against each other. If you want to get a card to Parallel 5, it's no longer 10,000 PXP. It's 8,000. That is massive. I've been complaining about that for two years now. We also have a brand new series of cards that was teased. And a lot of people were saying, I don't know who that is. Well, to me, I thought it was fairly easy. That is 100% Willie Mays. And that is his Hall of Fame plaque. So a new Hall of Fame series is coming to MLB The Show 24. That's exciting. For all of my people that get 10 wins fairly easily in BR and then choke the last few wins, you're going to be delighted to hear that BR is no longer 12-0 to go flawless. If you go 10-0, that is now a flawless run. There you go. So last year, MLB The Show 23 came out with draft content, and that was very exciting. Paul Skeens was one of my favorite pitchers in the game. Dylan Cruz was a lot of fun. Well, at the beginning of this game for launch, Spring Breakout is a new event going on in spring training, and a lot of the top prospects in baseball are going to be competing, so we're going to have Spring Breakout cards. I can't wait. A few more online gameplay improvements that I forgot to talk about. There is a new pinpoint pitching logic. So if you're using a guy like Andy Pettit, yes, he is a brand new legend. You're going to have to go to the left of the analog, not always with the right like you did in MLB The Show 23. So pinpoint pitching, lefties is a different motion. And also they made the sinkers a whole lot harder to throw because let's face it, everyone spams that and it's kind of hard to hit. And because we just talked about Andy Pettit, here are all of the confirmed brand new legends that we know about. So let's talk about Road to the Show before we talk about Franchise. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I haven't played Road to the Show in a few years, so I don't know if the Draft Combine used to be a thing, and then they took it away, but the Draft Combine is back. And by the way, Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty, they are officially two separate game modes. Your created player cannot be used online. Now, that comes with the news that women are now in MLB The Show, so the fact that you're not going to be able to use a female ball player in online, that's... That kind of sucks. But yes, women are now in Road to the Show. And like I mentioned, both modes are completely separate. And I prefer that. But what do you guys make of the change that ball players are only Road to the Show, no longer online gameplay, which is fine because we don't have to face submarine creative players that are either five foot one or six foot eleven. They throw 99 underneath and they have a screwball. But at the same time, you can't use a woman ball player online. So it's a win because you don't have to face toxic submariners anymore, but also you can't use everyone that you would want to. There's also a thing called QTE that is a quick time event as they call it. Think of the Bigs franchise where you would have to press square, X, triangle, and then it would actually perform the play or the throw. Yeah, that's coming to MLB The Show 24, Road to the Show, and storylines. Now, maybe I didn't do enough research, but that's all I really have in terms of changes coming to Road to the Show. So it's cool that we are getting a draft combine. The logic is going to be a little bit better, but that's really all I have to say about Road to the Show. Franchise got some love, and I know a lot of people are going to really enjoy that last sentence. The fact that Franchise even was given any attention this year. So you can now multitask a little bit easier by switching back and forth between teams when you're doing a draft. So I don't really play franchise, but that sounds like a great change. And a lot of franchise players are saying, yes, thank you. Now we all know that you can be a two-way player in Road to the Show. Well, in franchise, you can now scout and try and find two-way players. Yes, they are coming to franchise. When you get to 25% scouting progress, you're gonna have to go to a player's card and check their secondary. So like this guy, he's a starting pitcher, but you can see that he has secondaries in the outfield. So you can find a Shohei Otani and keep him on your franchise until he's retired. That's an amazing change and that's really cool. But again, you're going to have to go find them. A few years ago, there was a baseball lockout and part of bringing baseball back was the idea that teams wanted to be rewarded for calling up their top prospects. And that is coming to MLB The Show 24 franchise. If you have a top prospect that comes up and produces, you're going to get extra draft picks. Speaking of real life baseball, you can now start a franchise based off real time MLB injuries. So let's say that God forbid, Mike Trout goes down with syphilitis or whatever. He's going to have syphilitis in MLB The Show franchise, and you can start with that. Now, I'm going to throw this out there, but I don't know if it's going to be franchise-based or if it's going to be in real life-based, but there's now an awards tab in MLB The Show. So does that mean only guys who have won MVPs or Silver Sluggers or Roberto Clemente Awards like Christian Yelich is going to have an awards tab? Or is Rusty McGee the third, who is a random player from Arkansas who's in franchise, can he also have an awards tab? That would be cool. And also, there are brand new custom game entries. You do not have to play a full 162 if you don't have the time. Think about it as critical situations from past years, but a more refined, customizable 
critical situations. Just think about it that way. There's also going to be updates to storylines. So the NGL is going to get a full-blown rehaul. We have Josh Gibson, which is amazing. He's one of the best offensive players we've ever seen in the entire history of baseball. Buck Leonard's coming. Tony Stone is going to be an awesome ad. So there's going to be NGL storylines. Derek Jeter got his own storyline. So you're going to follow him as a rookie all the way through his illustrious career. And they really put a lot of time and effort into the subway system or the map of the storyline for Derek Jeter. It reminds me a lot of the Bigs 2 become a legend where you're going through the map of America, facing different teams, acquiring talent by beating those other teams. Hopefully that's the case. Like if we can get players unlocked through storylines because we beat them in a Jeter storyline, that would be really cool. So that does it for me and my research. If I skipped out on anything, please let me know in the comments down below. There were so many small changes that I had to try and find and track down. But if there's something that I missed out, please let everyone know in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe. We're doing so many giveaways soon and I'll see you in MLB The Show 24.